What's up guys? Brand new TV box in the house. This is the Buzz TV HD5 mini Android TV box. Now first of all, the specs. This box is powered by the S905 Y4 quad-core chip along with the Mali G31. You've got 4 gigs of LPDDR4 RAM and 32 gigs of internal storage. You've got 5 GHz Wi-Fi with dual antennas and this supports Bluetooth 5.0. Now surprisingly enough this thing has a gigabit LAN on the front and it's running full Android version 11. This supports HDMI version 2.1 and supports 4K HDR at 60fps with 5.1 surround sound and this also comes with Buzz TV's brand new BT400 smart remote control. So quickly show you what you get inside the box. Now this comes with a Type-C to USB-A power cable, a USB power brick with international attachments so you can use it in basically any country. Um, in my case I just need the UK connection, stick that on top and I'm ready to go. And this is the BT400, it's Buzz TV's new smart remote control. It has a whole bunch of functions including a backlight to go with it. So very nice customizable remote control. So when I show you the UI you're going to see that you can actually customize uh, some of these buttons and functions. Batteries are also included in the box. Last but not least, the TV box itself. Now the HDMI cable is already attached to the box. You've got this interesting design with the Buzz TV logo. Front of the box we've got a reset button on the side. Gigabit LAN, USB port and a Type-C power port on the side. And that is pretty much all your ports. Now most small TV boxes and dongles like this one never usually come with an Ethernet port let alone USB port. This one comes with both which is definitely good news. I'm excited about testing this one out so without any further ado I'm going to get this hooked up to my TV and capture card and we are going to find out exactly how good the Buzz TV HD5 really is. I'll be right back. So first of all, I ran a boot up speed test and this TV box took 34 seconds to fully load the home screen from a cold start. And here is your home screen. So we have Buzz TV's uh, custom OS. So at the top, we've got settings, we've got date, time and local weather. Now, if you just hover over the settings, you will see a very nice overlay appear, which will give you access to the main settings, server settings, your date, time, weather, your connection information for Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, Ethernet. You've got a shortcut to updates. You can change the background image of the desktop and a shortcut to buzz utilities. Now, the first row of icons, we have live TV, video on demand, PVR and EPG. So you can set this box up from Buzz Utilities. You just log into your usual live TV subscription package. Um, as soon as you log in, all of these categories come alive. It will give you lots of customization options uh, to enjoy your live TV service. Now, if we go down, you've got all apps, you've got shortcut to App Store, and you've got a plus sign where you can select more favorite apps to appear on the home screen. Select all your apps, press back, and they will appear in this row. If you keep the OK button press over an app, it will give you an option to move, remove shortcut or uninstall. If you click on move, you'll be able to arrange the order around to suit your own personal preference. So you can customize the order of the apps. At the bottom, it just shows you all your system apps. So you don't have to go to all apps in the corner there. You've got them all at the bottom. So all your apps appear at the bottom. You install any new apps, they will appear here. If you prefer looking at the app drawer, you can go to all apps and then it will show you a full page layout of all your apps. So best of both worlds. Now let's go over to the main system settings. Go to device preferences and check out the system storage info. This box has 32 gigs of internal storage from which we have 26 gigs free to use. Now if we have a quick look in about, you will see that this box is indeed running Android TV OS version 11. And I'll scroll down and give you more information on the kernel version and the Android TV OS build number, etc. I'm going to have a quick look at display and sound. So screen resolution, you've got auto switch to best resolution. We've got display mode, it's automatically set to 4K 60. Um, color space, here are your options. Again, that's automatically selected 10 bit. Okay, so that's selected 10 bit, but you have other options there too. Um, HDR policy, always HDR or adaptive. Screen positioning can be changed, you can zoom in and out. HDMI CEC is supported and here are your options. Okay, I'm going to quickly go to more settings 
and just going to show you you've got power key definition and picture power key definition allows you to decide what happens when you press the power button you can shut down or restart uh, picture settings you've got picture mode and a few presets so standard vivid soft sports movie and user so user will allow you to customize your own personal preference which is neat I'll leave it on standard for now aspect ratio full screen or you can leave it on automatic and there are your other options and you do have some advanced options for your picture settings so you've got gamma manual gamma color temperature color management uh, global dimming you've got lo global dimming i think they mean local dimming you've got black stretch dnlp local contrast and so on and so forth so there's lots of options to play around with and if you mess anything up you can hit that reset button and it will set itself back to default there are more settings for you to play around with let's check out buzz tv utilities so from here you'll be able to do system updates and as soon as I turn the box on an update was available and I already completed that update so it's good to see that OTA updates are supported home screen we've got four options Buzz TV Modern has been selected but I'll give you a quick look at the others so here is Buzz TV Classic uh, it gives you a kind of Cody style vibe screen to the second choice Buzz TV Me Media Player so here's a media player layout if you find this convenient media player 2 there you go nice big icons and now I'm just gonna set it back to modern so that is the most recent the most updated version of buzz TV so I've already shown you briefly all the apps available on the box so we've got YouTube Disney Plus we've got Netflix Chrome we've got two file managers but we've also got two Play Stores you've got the official Google Play Store and then we've got app toy TV now let's quickly open up Play Store and see what version of the Play Store we have. So here is the Play Store and this is actually the Android TV version of the Play Store. So it's not the full version of the Play Store like we have on tablets and phones. Uh, this is the Android TV version, so apps that are designed for Android TV. So it is kind of the limited version, but you will find that all the most popular apps and games will be available for you to install. So now we're going to play some 4K video samples from a USB drive and we're going to do this with the MX player that I just downloaded. So let's open it up and begin with the high bitrate Jellyfish demo. So that's 160 megabits per second file. Let's see how this one plays back. So as you can see it's playing back nice and smooth. No issues here. Let's go back and test the next one 180 megabits per second high bitrate 4k demo so this is 160 megabits per second high bitrate jellyfish demo and you can see it's playing back fine now the real test 400 megabits per second high bitrate jellyfish let's see if it can handle so it's struggling you can see it's it's uh, it's literally in slow motion so 400 megabits per second is not happening it's struggling so now I'm going to play back some 4K60 with HDR. <laughs> 4K HDR playing nice and smooth. Let's try another one. This one is 4K with HDR10. <laughs> So this device can handle 4K playback from a USB drive, no issues at all. Now let's open up YouTube and test out some 4K streaming. Just want to confirm that this remote control does not have a built-in microphone. So it is a Bluetooth remote, it is Buzz TV's new remote, but no mic built in. So you're not going to be able to do voice searches with this remote. And YouTube supports a maximum of 4K60 with HDR. So as you can see the Costa Rica demo is playing absolutely fine, 4K60 with HDR, zero drop frames, it's doing a wonderful job. Let's play a few more 4K trailers. So 4K60 streaming absolutely fine on YouTube. Now let's move on to the Netflix test. Now Netflix is supported and you do need to attach a mouse, be it Bluetooth or a wireless USB mouse, um, because you're not gonna be able to navigate Netflix with the remote control. And not only that, Netflix is limited to 540p. So Netflix HD not supported, um, you are gonna be streaming in Netflix SD. 
Don't worry. We'll be to the bluster in no time, Captain. And Amazon Prime Video also supports Full HD with HDR. And Disney Plus also supports Full HD streaming with IMAX enhanced. Alright, so moving on to a basic gaming test and we're going to start off with Beach Buggy Racing. Now for you advanced users, DRM Info does show Google Widevine Level 1. And here is CPU Z where you can check out the clock speeds. And you can see that this is running the Mali G31. This box is running Android 11 and does not come rooted as standard. And in the Wi-Fi speed test we achieve download speeds of 62 and upload speeds of 16 megabits per second. And these are typically the top speeds we achieve in our office. And here are the results for the internal disk speeds. We've achieved read speeds of 137 megabytes per second and write speeds of 43 megabytes per second. So moving on to the benchmarks, beginning with Geekbench, single core 110 and multi-core score of 265. And in the Antutu benchmark test, we achieved 72K. So let's see how this compares with the others. So here is my top Android TV box chart for 2022 showing you all the latest TV boxes and seeing how they compare with each other. Now the ranking is based on Antutu benchmark performance scores. So higher the benchmarks equals higher the ranking performance. So the chart shows you which boxes are the most powerful in performance. But if you want to know which one is the best overall box to buy, I've also added a rating system out of five next to each box. So as you can see, the Buzz TV HD5 has taken position 21 on this chart with a benchmark score of 72K. And I've also given this box an overall rating of 4.0 out of 5. Now you can view the full versions of all my charts online and free of charge at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. So there you have it guys, that was the new Buzz TV HD5. And here are my thoughts. This is a pretty decent mini TV box. Performance is generally good. It's capable of 4K60 streaming in YouTube and also third party apps. The Buzz TV UI is designed for internet TV and if you know what you're doing, you can really benefit from the user friendly UI and the customizable software and perks that come with it. It's really nice to have a gigabit LAN on board and spare USB port for various things, especially useful to help you sideload your APKs with ease. However, that being said, this box is not licensed for Netflix 4K. Even though this box has Widevine Level 1 certification, Netflix is maximum SD quality. Now the box is running full Android TV, but for some reason in settings, it shows ATV 11, but you're not getting Chromecast or Google Assistant. So it looks like a custom ATV build based on Android TV OS 11. Also the Play Store is ATV version and not the full version. The other two caveats is not really a deal breaker, but I thought I'd mention it anyway. There is no navigation menu bar or drop down menu from the top and mirror cast or screen mirroring is not supported natively. Bottom line, Buzz TV boxes are known and designed especially for their software and UI for internet TV, along with the awesome new Bluetooth remote control that it comes with and decent specs and performance. Price is on the higher side, but I guess that is ultimately what you're paying for. You're paying for the user experience. Now I hope you found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace.